shall we? Send in the next suckers. Yes, Miss Sniff, right away. Mr. Duckwas? Oh, I see you had a bit of accident. Yes! And when we filed for compensation, our insurance company refused to pay up. Oh, that's horrible. How could they do that? You are an insurance company, and I demand an explanation, you thieves! Oh, how could you say that? How did it happen? Well, I was just pulling into my driveway. Oh, no. Drivers are very dangerous. Nearly 0.00% of all accidents take place in the driveway. Yes. Well, as I was saying, I was just sitting there when this big brown van swerved into my backside, causing nearly $8,000 damage to the house and giving me 23rd degree burns over 300% of my body. Oh, that is so sad. Let's have a look at your widow policy. First, what kind of car was it? The car insured by your company was a 1990 Chrysler LeBaron. How many wheels does a LeBaron have? How many wheels? It has four wheels! Oh, that's horrible. That's very bad. What? A car must have five wheels. How could you drive a car with only four wheels? That's very dangerous. I... I didn't know. <laughs> what were you wearing to the accident? I... I was wearing a seatbelt. Good, but were you wearing a hat? Uh, no, I wasn't. Oh, that is so sad. Your policy only covers you if you're wearing a hat for the fever! Hold on! You sold my wife this policy, and you didn't tell her about any of these stupid things! I'm not perfect, Mr. Douglas. I'm only human. I'm not perfect. Look at her! Will you at least pay us for agonizing pain, suffering? Pain? Suffering? Mr. Klaus, are you in pain? Yes. Oh, then we can help. You do have a good student discount, right? Um, no, I don't. Oh, that's very bad. We cannot help. Why? I need to good grade. Your wife, she is so stupid. I know that. But what does that have to do with pain and suffering? No brain, no pain. You, you, I'll kill you. Uh oh, goodbye. <laughs> More ones. Zoe. Get in here right now! Watch out! Yes, Miss Sniff? How can I help you, Miss Sniff? Here was five dollars. I want some donuts. Don't go spend it on yourself. Yes, yes, right away. A lot of money. Right away, Miss Sniff. And don't come back without them! Or you'll get the pig whip for the holidays. Yes, yes, Miss Sniff. Oh, Merry Christmas, Miss Sniff. Christmas? From the beginning, there has been the seventh seal, the gateway. And in that gateway, demons. Creatures whose one purpose was to destroy the earth when the time had come. Wilder, Angel of the Abyss, has always been responsible for protecting it until the end of time when it would first open. But something always goes wrong. Many times in history, it has opened, and demons have escaped. Most recently, the evil warlord Grunch's exile came to an end. While on free TV, his servant, Nemo the Afflicted, opened the gateway. Demons escaped. It was not the first time. The exuberant once took the gateway into their care and fled. Now it is their mission to find all of the aliens who have escaped. Thousands of years ago, and only days before, those aliens that plotted to destroy Earth's dimension and return them to the prison in the sealed gateway, where they belong.
You guys get the big alien, I'll distract the little human. Box him up and we'll send him back to La La Land. Crazy street preacher, come in. Merry Christmas to you, son, Merry Christmas. You know, Jesus is the reason for this jolly season. Not that fat, drunken Santa, Jesus. That fat, drunken Santa is Jesus? No, son, of course not. That fat, drunken Santa is the reason for upheaving, not the reason for the season. But fat drunks with ding-dongs are what make it so jolly. Hello, Mr. Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Are you a bad alien from the gateway? Ho, ho, ho. Can you understand anything I'm saying? Ho, ho, ho. Can you say anything else? Is this your dog? Is it? Ho, ho, ho. This has got to be an alien. This is your marsupial. This is your wing of ding doo Isn't it? Ho, Isn't ho, it? ho. Let's get it over with. Spray him. Ah. Wow. Unbelievable. It worked. Guess he's human. That's an excellent chapter right there, so an excellent chapter. Oh, that's an excellent page right there. Have you even read this? No. Then how do you know? How many times say Jesus on that page? About 30. Oh, it's an excellent page right there. It's an excellent page. Can I ask you a question? Please don't. Have you been saved, son? Have you been saved? Have I been spayed? No, son. Saved. Are you Christian, son? Are you Christian? Not technically. Jewish? No. Hindu? No. Now, what are you, son? What are you? A freak? Other than a freak, what's your religion? Uh, it's a universal. So you're Catholic? No. The, the god I worship is universal. You worship Satan? No. Kurt Cobain and Marilyn Manson? No. Regis Philbin? No! Regis Philbin! No! Why don't you worship Regis Philbin? <laughs> I don't like Regis. Regis Philbin's wonderful. He's a good Christian son. He's a good Christian. Why don't you worship Regis Philbin? I worship Regis Philbin every day. I haven't got any money, but here, have a donut. I love you. Are you crazy? I love you more. I've loved you since I saw your face. Well, I loved you in my dreams. Well, what matters is, time's running short, you see. Lord's second coming's coming. Seven plagues gonna destroy this corrupt old city. It's coming soon, so maybe we want it. Stop arguing with her, stupid. You know what? He's right. We're better than that. We should be talking about why you love me more instead. But you love me more. No, dear. You have a bigger heart, so you love me more. That's why you love me more. You're right. I do love you more. Cheater. So if he opens it now, no. Empty. How embarrassing for the Supreme Being. All that hype and then he has to postpone Apocalypse for demon delight. You're one of them crazy street preachers. No, see, I leased the gateway to this TV show and they let all the demons out ahead of schedule. Excuse me. No, 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 no. I'm thinking you can help us get them back. Ow. She has got to be a demon. She's so eager to please, it's dangerous. Watch this. I wish all the girls would jump up and down. That'd make me happy. Come on, jump! Don't be mean! That's it. I'm telling Wilder. <laughs> Can I stop jumping now? Higher! You hold him down and I'll chain him up! Ah! What? Did you don't practice what you preach! Come here, Wilder. I think we found one. <laughs> oh, heart. Yeah, just tell her that some um, you love her or something. Uh, I want you and I must have you. You look delicious. Take me! Is that unusual? Yes. Right. Bag her up, Schmacky. Back to La La Land, little miss. No, no! I love her! She's got to be human! Oh, please, this is an alien. I'll be an alien if you want me to be. No, 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 look. 
Look, I spray her, and and if she's an alien, uh, fine. Whatever. Ready, dear? I'm ready for anything. Dang! Another human. Humans are freaks. Another human? A very pretty human. How long will it take for your spray's effects to wear off? Uh... 24 years, give or take a penny. Putting that thing in our van. I feel it is our duty to keep an eye on her until she transforms back. You just want to hold her melon. Mm. While we're waiting, how about we fill our bellies with the delicious treats she was carrying? Ooh, a donut. But let's just make sure we make them last. Mmm. Those were some good donuts. We should get going now. We have more aliens to bag. What the frip was that? Ah! The melon we had in the back seat turned into a girl. Really? I didn't even know we had a melon back there. What happened? Where am I? Oh, now I remember. This was the girl I sprayed 24 years ago to test whether or not she was an alien. I'll go have a little chat with her. And your name is? Zoe. Zoe Sparks. And you are? I am Erie McPike, interdimensional sightseer and traveler. We are the exuberant ones. That's Schmacky Wilson, 37th of the infinite Schmackies. And Wilder Apollyon, guardian of the gateway, the seventh seal. And this is Panty Raider, warrior's bridesmaid. Her name is Panty? She's not from around here. So, are you from around here? <laughs> oh, no. I used to live in a nice doorway. Oh, was it nice? Uh, isn't that what I just said? Then why are you here now? Well, one day I stepped out of the dimension of infinitely bad jokes and I found myself confronted by every other single version of myself from all of the other dimensions. How many were there? Oh, infinite. Needless to say, I and all the other me's didn't like having more than one of myself around, so we proceeded to kill each other. I was the last one standing when all the other Eeries were dead. You mean you killed yourself? Yep. Wouldn't it take an eternity to kill an infinite number of yourself? <laughs> no, 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 no. Look. On average, it took about 10 minutes apiece. Since I didn't have to kill myself myself, it would take 10 minutes less than eternity. Obviously. Oh, but why does that explain how I turned into a melon? Oh, oh, that little thing. This is my special alien tester. If you spray an alien with this substance, nothing happens. However, if you spray something from this dimension with it, they'll change it to some random shape. What aliens are you talking about? Creatures that have escaped from my doorway, that now inhabit your planet disguised as humans. Some plot to destroy the planet, while others are actually doing well here. It is our job to find them and throw the troublesome ones back. That's... Hey, wait a minute. Where are my donuts? Your donuts? Oh, we ate them while we were awaiting your retransformation. You ate my donuts? Yes, and they were delicious. They weren't mine! They were my bosses, Ursula Snip! She'll kill me if I return without them! Oh, that's horrible. That's what she'll say, and then she'll kick me out on the street! I can't handle another attention like that! Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, to make it up to you, we'll, we'll go and buy you some of those donuts before we drop you off. Oh, thank you. You can get them at a... All we need is some money. Oh, boy. Let's face it. Perfumes today are positively boring. Who said perfumes should be nothing but chemicals we spray on ourselves to make us smell good? 
When I go to a party with a new perfume on, I want more than just to attract men. I want everyone in the room to hate me for having something that they don't. I want envy. And I want you to want it too. supermodel like me to use it. Anyone can apply just a dab of envy and attract people's envy, even if you'd normally go unnoticed. For some reason, I find myself envious of her. I wish I were that much of a woman. You see, envy works for anyone. Look at that big, fat, hairy ape. Hmm. What I'd give to be that big, fat, hairy, and ape. E. Bye, my congregants that we must not just read from the Bible. We must learn from the Bible. We must learn to be more like Abraham when he took his dear son to the altar and nearly sold him retail. And we must learn to be more like Noah when we set forth on his vast and mighty ark to discover America and populate it with our good people. That's why, my friends, we must learn to be more like this jelly donut powdered with sugar with jelly in the middle. Yes, we must learn to be more like this jelly donut and have a sweet jelly filling in our souls or else Satan would devour us in one huge bite. Envy, the new fragrance from Marvin Miser. It'll make... All right, that's enough, Miss Model. You can't do this for shooting an expensive product commercial. Your material wealth means nothing to me. All I want are the preacher's donuts. It's too late. He already ate them. So, do we send her back to La La Land like the rest? Nah. I got something far worse in store for her. Oh, Schmacky! She gets to try Marvin Miser's brand new fragrance, Aggression! Well, I wasn't dead, but the other... 
other Schmacky. The other Schmacky? Well, yes, you see, there's an infinite number of Schmacky Wilsons, one in each dimension. You mean you're all alike? Identical. The only difference is that we've each adapted to a different dimension. So, where do all these other Schmackies come from? Well, one theory is universal flaw. The universe isn't perfect, so some things happen because they make absolutely no sense whatsoever. Why did I have to be a freak in a baseball cap and a cow pie? Well, according to universal nonsense, all someone ever had to do was to picture a Schmacky Wilson. And somehow, somewhere, Schmacky Wilsons came to be. It doesn't make any sense. Exactly. It's in this diet digs for its beer. It's got to taste like a son of a birch, and if I were to stick your head in it, your hair would get a bright and healthy sheet. Hello, boys. Plan on paying for them sodas? Yeah. Is that so? You weren't just planning on slipping them in your coats and walking out? That's what you're really planning, to steal them, right? I'd say yeah, but wouldn't stealing be, I don't know, Stealing? No! Stealing's not stealing! In fact, stealing's only stealing if you get caught! Right? Man, you're trippy! Who are you? Yeah. Detective Del Fuego, from the cops. The cops? Man, I've heard of them. They're that gang what the city started. If you're a cop, don't you have one of those badges they all carry around? Badges? I don't need no station badge! Cops hate badges! Oh, I junk! Uh, What's the matter, punks? Honest? Tell you what, copper. We gotta pay for these sodas. And on top of that, we gotta pay sales tax. How about them apples? Oh, oh. junk. Teach you no good punks a lesson. Yeah. A lesson about how to steal something. Oh, junkity, junkity, junk. Of course. They number sodas. Cops hate sodas. Yeah, copper. I got something for you. A Pino. Thank you. Or pay for this. Dang, man. Happens every time. Hey, look it. Donations. Charity. Oh, ah. yeah. Ah. Come on. I'll pay for this. You know what you do with that? I'll tell you what you do with that. You pour your soda in there. No, man, you mistook. This here's for the donorating the monies. And I'm gonna pour my coffee in. Not while I'm a watching. Oh, yeah? But look, there's Elvis. Yeah. Where? I cannot see. Why, yes, it is. Elvis Dane Chrysler. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. I am not a corpse. Come, come. I guess you just think you're the master rock and roll. Hey, Mama. Biggie, king of rock and roll. 
I ordered a uh, big ham and fried peanut butter banana pizza. You know, uh, if I don't get it, I'm gonna eat this boy's face. Eat his face off! I like a roo roo! A roo roo roo! Name again? A roo! A roo roo roo! You see that Elvis over there? You know what you should do? Go pull down his pants! Drop his drawers! Oh, jump, junkity, junkity, jump! I'm feeling temptatorated. Yank him! Yank him! Be the man, the deep hands, the king of rock and roll. Yeah, uh -huh. I can dig. I can dig. Whoa! Cold draft! Oh! That's all right, Mama. I don't need my drawers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah. Ah. One second. Good job, Butch. You! You've been temptatorating and corruptorizing my good friend Butch, and we are gonna take it. Oh yeah? What you gonna do? Well, yeah. we gonna have to just walk out. We got the guts. Let's go. <laughs> you ain't gonna do it. Punk! Honey citizens! You good slaggers! You ain't got the guts! Yes, I do. Sugar nugget. Dang, man, you just want African. Man, I weren't freaking nothing. No, 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 man. African. As in the country of Africa. Uh oh, this next smells trouble. The pump mobile. Our prospective manager. We got an old lady hit by a big brown van. How's it going? Some reprobate was trying to wrap the swings up on the bar. What new little kitties could swing? Oh, and who'd be doing that? I was. You, Agent, why are you doing that? The man made me do it. It was him. Hmm. How'd you beat us here? I permeate all levels yeah. of society. Now, while well, earning my leg. Go wrap up them swings. If you want to be one of the punks, you're going to take the swings down. Wrap them up, Erno, or are you going to jail? Bring them down. <laughs> Dang, man. I understand why you shot Fwapo. Why'd you go and kill Slick? Man, I didn't even know your name. Yes, you do. It's Amy. Amy Plinkett. Oh, yeah. I still don't know if he had any parents. I still don't know if he's frippin' human. Ernie Levita Custard, Detective Dolph Wapo. We are here to take you back to La La Land, where you belong. What's this, Wapo? A bribe? Okay. Donut money. Guapo, you can stay, but on one condition. You must abide by the rules of this dimension. You got a deal, freak. Okay. You've been shot, so die. Hey. I thought you guys were going to take me back to La La Land. We were, but you've become a benefit to this dimension. You can stay. Yeah, you killed Slick. how I think that went wrong. Yeah. Will Zoe get the donuts for her boss, Ursula Sniff?
Will the exuberance be able to stop the evil warlord Grunch from taking over this dimension? And what about that crazy street preacher? What's up with him? All next time on Exuberant Free TV.